Morning, folks. Hope everybody's doing well this morning, staying warm. <laughs> Day soap is brought to us from Barbas. This one here is the classic version in a tub. And that's what it looks like there. 150 grams in the tub. And I think that's just over five ounces of goodness there. Um, I couldn't tell you exactly what the scent is. Uh, my nose is, uh, it's, it's having troubles this morning. And I've had this before, but uh, it's a... I don't find the scent offensive. Oh, by the way, lathering bowl. That's what it looks like there on the inside. Got it whipped up here with a, uh, this particular marker. I have um, information down below. It's, I, it's out of production, so you'll have a hard time finding it. It runs right around the, it seems like $100 plus. I got mine at the Superior Shave on a closeout sale. I think it was like $25 or $30. Bucks. It's a 21 millimeter badger nut. Got it whipped up here, but... The scent is pleasant. I can't place my, you know, my nose is just not going to be able to place what this scent is. But I don't find it offensive at all. I'm going to follow the shave up with a Wet the Face Barbershop. thought this would be a pretty good one to follow up with. And the scent, that what it kind of reminded me of. But it's, um, like I say, my nose, uh, especially the past few days, has been pretty tough to pick things out. Blade of choice today. I'm going to try the, uh, there we go. Tiger uh, Platinum, and it is uh, double wrapped, and it comes in a box looking like this right here. I think I've tried this once before, quite some time ago, but with a different packaging, and uh, I'm thinking this is the same one, but going going to find out here pretty darn quick. Uh, Shaver of the day. This is a Parker variant. This is adjustable, and uh, some of the design will look familiar to you. Yep, that's the right side. You can kind of see the markings there. So it's a two-piece design. So when you loosen it up, you want to make sure you get these two marks on the cap and on the base there to, to line up. Otherwise, you're going to have some issues. <laughs> but anyway, um, the dial is down at the bottom of the knob. I'm going to start out with five today. And I say I'm going to start out with five. I have uh, intentions, depending on the blade, um, Going to stay with the five through all through all three passes now there's if you watch some other videos with it uh you can adjust it where it goes higher uh past the five way past the five and all that sort of thing um i'm going to stay within what i would expect the manufacturer's range yeah there we go and you can't see i'm talking with my hands too <laughs> all right i'm gonna go ahead and get started with the uh, phoenix artisan accoutrements uh, pre-shave soap here this one here is the christmas one and um, um, it started out being eight ounces. It's still got a long ways to go. Put a hot towel to face this morning. And uh, it's part of my, I guess you might say, my normal routine. And my uh, hot towel is just a washcloth that I throw in the sink when I'm filling it up with some hot water. Uh, that's my hot towel routine. And I usually hold it up to my face for oh, about 60 seconds thereabouts. Or depending on how you want to look at it, um, until my face feels like it's the same temperature of the towel. That's what I kind of use as a rule of thumb for me. It's what works for me. I had to figure out some way to figure out how to, uh, how long should I leave the towel on for. So I figure either the 60 second count or when I feel like my face is the same temperature as the towel. This is good stuff. Um, if there's anything, one of those items that you get that uh, uh, what I would consider worth the money, that's what, six ninety five around 7 bucks for 8 ounce uh, pre-shaved soap. Uh, lasts quite a while, an Allen block. What, you can get this one here, what, four fifty, four dollars dollars $4, $5, lasts you forever. For me, it lasts me a good long year or longer. Uh, Witch Hazel, another one. Depending on where you go, you can get some. Yeah, you can get some inexpensive shave gear. And uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So I do spend some time, as goes for different websites, and subscribe to the newsletters, and so that way when they have awesome sales and get stuff like this, quote unquote, dirt cheap. <laughs> yeah, under thirty dollars for. Uh, uh, a brush like that, that's a pretty good buy. 
can't pass that up. And the two colors, this one's the blue one, come in red, and uh, picked up both of them, and have to say, yeah, that's a, uh, that's an excellent buy. Temperatures are warming up here, finally. It's going to get above freezing next week. We should be up around 60 degrees. So whatever snow, ice, or whatever is left, it's going to run away. Boy, howdy, this is, uh, my nose is so bad this morning. Uh, I still pick up the scent every so often with this. As I'm putting the lather on my face. This is the lather that works for me. It's uh, not quite drippy, but it is wet, moist. Uh, I could have put it on the drippy side, but I thought I would give it a try with, um, like this, with uh, my Parker variant. Parker, this Parker variant, um, I don't have the Merker Progress, uh, the long handle. I have the short handle. And uh, I, as it goes for which one do I prefer, only because of the way this one is designed in that it doesn't have the plastic knob. Uh, that would be the deciding factor for me. I like the Merker Progress. Works just fine for me. Uh, that plastic knob, it just bugs me that, you know how it is. Your hands get slippery, you get distracted, you're going to drop it, and then your hand, and your knob's busted, and then you're going to, yeah, it's going to be a sad day. I, I just like the design of this one better because of that. But you can pick up a Mergress. I think that's how you say it. Bull Goose. But you are going to pay a little bit for that metal knob. <laughs> Uh, so far, this um, blade's working out about, a, about as well as I expected it to. I thought this was the blade, but I wasn't real sure. And this is on setting 5, so it's going to be a little bit on the aggressive side. So if you're looking for a little bit smoother shave, less blade feel, could dial it down. I might do that just so I can talk to it. Speak to how it feels. This blade... I'm pretty sure this is the same one that was in the red packaging. Then don't get it confused to the quote unquote the new packaging that's red because, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's a carbon blade and it will not shave like this one. I have a pack, uh uh, and the two shape is not, no, they're not comparable to me. Carbon blades are more missed, <coughs> excuse me. More miss than hit. Um, I do have some treat uh, carbon blades, but I think they're referred to as black beauties. Those and some shavers do just fine, and other shavers not so much. And those are the ones I've had the best luck with. Um, these some of the others I've tried just no luck. I, no matter what I put it in there. The, the shave is just, uh, yeah, not for me. <laughs> yeah, definitely not for me. I think I'll wait till the last pass to ratchet this uh, adjustment down. Um, oh, I think I forgot to look up on the weight and the length. I think this is like four inches or something like that. I can't remember what the weight is. Forgot to look that up before I got started. Or at least uh, put it in my memory, read, write it down so I can stick it on the mirror. Soap is doing well. I should say this uh, soap in the container, uh, it's not real hard. It's not a croak by any means, but it's easy to scrape out to put in a bowl. Uh, and if you couldn't tell, that uh, that soap is filled more or less to the to all the way to the top. So if you're liking to lather from the container uh, it's going to be a bit messy first time using this knot this badger knot and it seems to be working out pretty well 21 millimeter um, I like the smaller knots they work well for me <clears throat> excuse me
This one here is doing really well. It is. It doesn't even, you know, when you get a new brush like this, it's a natural bristle. How sometimes they feel pokey or a little bit scritchy. Of course, it's a badger knot, but I don't feel that with this one here. Like I said, if you're looking for one, you're probably going to have to pay out the nose for it. Now, the handle is aluminum, but it does have some weight behind it. I'm not sure what they put in the bottom of it to give it so much weight, but it's heavy. Uh, considering that it's aluminum. Easy going shave. I like the Parker variant. And plus, uh, as well as the Merkin Progress. Both of them are pretty nice shavers, especially for quote unquote modern adjustables so that I wouldn't say would break the bank. The prices of the uh, Progress have dropped over time. Uh, a lot cheaper than what they were when I first started. Because when I first started, they, the prices of those shavers were just, uh, how can you say, not within what I would want to pay. And this one here, consistently $57, $58. I think it's like $57.99 or something like that. Basically, a, a, a in the realm of adjustable razors, that are of quality. These uh, are, uh, I guess you might say, affordable in my opinion. And durable. In other words, you take care of it. Hopefully you don't drop it on a hard floor. I, I think it will survive a hard drop. The uh, variant. Progress on the other hand, I'm not so sure. This lathered up really easy. Pretty much effortless. All right. Still got on the setting five, if you can see that. I think we'll go ahead and let's say, let's pick a three. Now we'll see how this blade feels uh, against the grain on a setting three. Let's see if the blade feel smooths out just a bit. It is smoother. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. So if, uh, if you find a blade and adjustable like this at a little bit too too much of a blade feel, I would say a setting three is not a bad place to go. Even with the feedback against the grain, it's still very smooth. I enjoy this shaver. It's a uh, a little bit longer handle for those that like it. Like I say, the price is very reasonable. Back when I got this at the time, most of the places where I would shop online, that the um, this was cheaper than the, uh, the progress with the shorter handle. That has changed over time. I guess you might say the short handled uh, progress and the uh, this variant are closer to being priced, and sometimes depending on where you're you're shopping at online, uh, you can find the progress even cheaper than the variant at times. So it's um, if you're a, a Merker fan and you don't have one of these adjustables just yet. Yeah, you're going to have to be persistent in order to keep, you know, save a few bucks on it. Especially if you're looking for free shipping also. <laughs> yeah, kind of, kind of worked that way. Price, my face is pretty smooth. Um, if I would do the 543 on the adjustment, shave would be just fine for me. Uh, when it comes to adjustables, I do find myself... Uh, having a tendency to find a setting to use on all three passes. Uh, for me, uh, that's just the way it seems to work pretty good for me. Now, as it goes for adjusting downwards or do you adjust upwards, 
that really depends on you know what you're wanting for me since usually the against the green pass is the most aggressive pass uh, with a lower setting you might get a little bit less irritation and a smoother shave especially down on the neck but uh, for some folks they 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 work it in reverse and their uh, first uh, setting is going to be on a three and then they work their way up for instance and so their most aggressive pass against the grain will be on the highest setting and if it works better for you then that's that, yeah, definitely that's what you ought to do because if you go along the that kind of thought process is that you're getting your oh how can you say uh, your most efficient pass at that point uh, if you want to look at it that way I understand both ways of thinking but for me it's just what works best you're taking out uh, with the grain you're taking down most of the growth on the uh, with the grain pass so that's the most aggressive one that's where I my thought process is and you're taking off very little on the third pass so I use the mildest setting if I'm going to adjust it like that there is one thing to speak to these kind of adjustables versus let's say a Gillette Slim or or a Fat Boy in that uh, you don't have to worry about uh, loosening the doors or anything like that before you make your adjustment um, you just make it on the fly and continue right on the knurling on this especially down here on the knob is quite nice very grippy uh, I don't have any problems hanging on to this shaver uh, even with wet hands or anything like that it it works just fine for me I'm going to go ahead and take this apart so I can show you what the inside looks like every once in a while I get wrapped up in what I'm doing forget to show these sort of things it looks an awful lot like a murker it really does you gotta see how that looks and uh, the t this Tiger Platinum blade and the camera probably won't show it it's a lot like the um, oh I think it was Permasharp that has etching but it the etching in other words there's no ink there so you may have a satin finish on the blade and there's a little shiny part which you're probably not going to see and that's where the etching is at the laser etching for a tiger and all that sort of thing it's really hard to see i know the very first time i think it was uh the purple sharp when i first opened up the pack unwrapped the blade and i didn't even notice that it actually had it on there i thought it was just a plain blade with no markings and that does look that way but you look close enough you know and get the light to hit it just right you can see tiger on there and uh see on the other side i think yeah it says platinum it's really hard to see especially with my eyes <laughs> but uh anyway that's what it looks like on the underside there i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up with the uh do the witch hazel here i should mention also i don't think uh Don wet the face. Uh, I think he's changed up the uh, uh, the his barbershop lineup. In other words, the one I've got right now is an older version, I guess you might say. He the one he's got now is referred to as a uh, modern barbershop scent, and I guess you might say this might be considered a classic or vintage type scent, if you will. Uh, I go with either one of them, modern or this one here. I like them both. I'm I'm pretty flexible when it comes to these sort of things. To me, I think that the scents are nice. I haven't found a barbershop scent that I don't like. <laughs> Maybe that's how I should put it. I had a really nice shave this morning. Saturday morning, like I said, I hope everybody's staying warm. I know in certain parts of the country it's been pretty tough just a really nice shave i still got a few more parkers left so stay tuned we'll talk to you later stay healthy stay safe and smooth shades to you